Hello YouTube! <laughs> As you can see I actually moved a metal door here. I don't know if it's wood or metal but I am replacing the old um, panel door here at, at Hut 2.0 because this one kept blowing down. Well it was kind of falling apart so I found a door and it actually fits. Surprisingly the size that I had made it for the the two panels fit other than the roof which not the roof, the uh, the top line here, which I had to knock out a little bit, move up. But I'm planning on mounting it. I just went to Home Depot and bought some um, hinges. So I'll be mounting those hinges in here. I, I think I got the right ones. So that'll be uh, replacing it. In the meantime, a huge storm had blown through the area, and it looks like um, the hut stayed intact. I didn't spend the night, although some water did blow through on this side over here and got this all wet which I kind of mopped up a little bit. But otherwise, the building held together um, very well because I don't see any of the wet spots. So we're, there was a leak here yesterday, um, but it seems to have cleared. I think the, the structure is doing very well. It is cold out here, which is why you're seeing all that. I don't know if you can see that. That's my breath. It is cold out here right now. I am at the hut making breakfast. Um... I ended up getting a new Coleman stove because the old one, that the handle right here, broke while I was filming the eating, um, the sand flea episode. So I went and got a new one because I need this here as an emergency backup system for rainy days when you can't cook outside. So right now I'm cooking up some rice in it. And you can see my little onions have grown. I have, um, pulled off the, the tip several times to eat. But I'm keeping it like that to grow new onion stalks. Anyhow, this rice is almost done. I'll be pulling it off the, the stove here in a moment. But meanwhile, I'm getting ready to start up the grill out here. You can see the ground is soaking wet. So there's no wood here to use, but I had to uh, pull some wood and put it inside the hut, which is what you see out here right now. So we're going to be starting up the fire here and cooking up some um, pork chops. I don't know if you can see the delicious pork chops here from Walmart. And... Um, a little tip for you that was given to me by a channel named Ace. I'm going to take some of this vegetable oil, put it into this, this um, lid right here, this cap. And I'm just going to pour it over the, um, the wood and the, the paper here before I try to light it on fire to keep it burning. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil on there to make it burn better so it doesn't burn out. Because I've been having issues with getting the fire to continue to burn. It looks like the rice is pretty much done. You can see the... The steam is still blowing out, so it's finishing up the last of uh, the rice evaporating it. So I'm going to um, shut off the unit and set the rice out to cool down. Well, it cooked extremely fast on this, this burner. Still see a little bit more moisture. I'll let it drain out just a little bit more, maybe a few more seconds. And we'll go ahead and turn off the heat here. And that what that does is that disconnects the um, the butane canister right here. When you push down on it, it pushes the canister up this way and presses it in and then releases the gas. So we can save our fuel, let it sit and cool down. I'm probably going to dry that off, wipe that down before it dries. But we'll go ahead and get the fire started so we can cook the pork chops on the um, grill outside. You might be wondering why I didn't cook the rice outside. I just didn't feel like it. I just wanted the rice cooked really fast. I thought I was going to have time to cook the rice and the pork chops at the same time, but the rice cooked a lot faster. I could cook the pork chops in here by frying it up on a frying pan, but since we have the grill out there and I have some wood here that I had brought in that's dry, I think I might as well go ahead and have a, um, a grill. I'll grill up the, um, the pork chops because I love grilled pork chops and it tastes so much better. As you can see, I took some of the uh, vegetable oil here and I put it into the cap. And all I'm going to do is just coat this a little bit. I'm just basically pouring it over the wood and the paper in here to help it to burn better. Because I don't want the fire to burn out before everything, you know, the, the wood catches on. Now, you don't want too much of it because it'll go crazy. I think a cap full may be enough. The idea is just to soak it a little bit and give it um, a little bit more oomph as far as burning. 
so I think I have enough. There's only one cap full. Then it's just going to be a matter of um, dropping a match in there, lighting it up, and letting it burn. As you can see, I've lit the matches. Do a match in there. It is burning very well because of the um, the oil that was put in there. Thank you very much, Trail Name Ace, for the the tip. We're just gonna let that burn down a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and plop the the pork chops on there and um, let it cook up. Rice is already done. It's just a matter of letting this burn down a little bit, and I'll bring out some more fuel to throw on there. Nothing like makes you feel good as having a nice hot fire on a cold day, which it is kind of cold today. All right, the fire has calmed down a little bit. I am going to toss the um, pork chops on there, even though a lot of people will say you shouldn't do that shouldn't have the flames right up on the meat but I kind of like I kind of like having the meat seared a bit <laughs> yeah, so I can get this to go in there and then drop there we go all right we'll go ahead and, and um, I'm debating if I want to put the uh, the meat right on there right now or wait a little bit. Maybe I'll wait just a little bit and let it die down just a little bit. Because I could spray water on it a little. Mm. We'll let it die down just a little bit more before we put the meat on it. I think the flames are low enough now that I can go ahead and toss the meat on there. Just going to simply take our chops and put it right on the grill. You can hear it sizzling already. Doesn't that sound good? Nothing like pork chops sizzling on an open fire in the morning. I'm going to season it with, of course, our magical body, which we used to season everything. Maybe I'll pour some um, soy sauce on it first. Yeah, I think the soy sauce should go on it first to help hold everything into place. Oh, I might have put the fire out. All right. Now we'll pour some of our badia and of course our chopped onions. I'm going to flip the meat over. All right. And we'll season this side as well. sauce on there. All right. And some magical body. And of course, our chopped onions. I think what I'm gonna do to help it um, cook a little bit more, I'm, I may need to start the fire back up. Fire's like burning out. And um, 
Let me try to start the fire up. I may I may put a lid on it and let it kind of bake a little bit. I was going to put some paper in there and some more um, wood, but it looks like the fire started back up on its own. That's good. I, I want like the flames to kind of kiss the edges of the uh, the meat to sear it a little because I kind of like that seared taste. Even though it probably isn't good for you to have seared meat. Yeah, but it looks like it's, it's cooking up really nicely right now. Go ahead and uh, flip the meat. Waiting for all the red to go away. Hmm. That looks so good. How about you? But I'm getting really, 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 really hungry. I have decided to put the lid on it to let it bake a little bit. I might put the fire out, but maybe we'll just just to let it bake. I want it fully cooked. There we go. Now we've got a little bit of got it trapped in the heat. And we'll go ahead and get the um, rice ready, and by then the, um, the pork chop should be ready to serve. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Look at that pork chop, cooked over an open fire. I got my rice up here with some of the onions. I can see it's fairly hard, so it's cooked. Maybe a little overcooked, but it's alright. <laughs> yeah, look at that. This is more than enough. I'll take them both. Let's get it off the grill. Doesn't that look so good? And yeah, let's just take a picture here. Make it look pretty. I'm just going to make it... Well, I think I've already messed it up. <laughs> I think I really messed things up. i got to wash all that. Hang on. And there we have it. Our um, pork chops and rice with um, onion stalks on the side. Let's go ahead and try it out and see what it tastes like. Get my little spoon here. It's kind of hard to do everything one-handed. Here we go. Hmm. Should probably use a knife for this. Make sure the meat is cooked. It looks cooked. And here we go. And that looks so good right there. Mmm. Mmm. Gonna have one of these. This is so good. What a great breakfast, huh? Until next time, everyone, I hope you're staying warm, staying safe, having good food to eat. Take care of yourself, please. God bless you all. Bye-bye now.